Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way right now. We call it the 10-minute drill, and at the end of the drill, we're going to hand out a wonderful prize pack. Beef, are we still giving away tickets to Thursday night's game? Uh, you're darn tootin', dude. Wow, we have yeah. a lot to give away. We're going to hook one lucky Guggen up at the end of the 10-minute drill with a pair of tickets uh-huh. for Jags and Dirty Birds uh-huh. Thursday night oh, down at the stadium. That I can't comes wait. complete with passes to the public's ultimate tailgate party presented by Party Chef. Oh, that's even better. Let's start in Tallahassee where Willie Taggart, to no one's surprise, named James Blackman the starting quarterback. Uh, pretty much everything went as expected in the world of college football, except maybe down in Miami, where you see why uh, uh, you see why uh, Miami picked the the Williams kid. He he, you know, listen. So uh, Florida sacked him ten times. He uh, and some of those were on him, but otherwise he 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 had he played well. He he did fine for his first. Oh, game. Oh, I thought he outplayed Felipe Franks. Yeah. So anyway, but James Blackman in Tallahassee coming up this Saturday, the Knowles and Boise State at the uh, stadium. So that'll be fun. And James Blackman will lead the team. I saw Willie Taggart uh, make, and again, this is to his, I think it was, I don't think it was a press conference as such. I think it was speaking at a, like a Noel kickoff luncheon or something. And he said, you know, basically, basically guaranteed that things are going to be much better th- this year in Tallahassee. Be so. careful. Yeah. I wouldn't go get offering any guarantees. Yeah. I would just try and go yeah. out and then after the fact say, well, I kind of thought it would yeah. be. I, I, you know, FSU's not in a, in, in a position to guarantee that they play. Uh, a Boise State team this weekend. Boise State picked uh, did not pick the Jacksonville kid to be the starter, so they picked a uh, uh, young. Uh, he's either a redshirt. Fre- I think he's a redshirt freshman, but I'm not positive. Who they have one of the Bartram kids. Who do they yeah, have? Riley Smith, I okay. believe is his name. So, uh, last time I looked at their depth chart, I think he was number three. Riley, okay, or at least battling for the backup. But yeah. listen, if you want to know that you can't always go by the way 2018 ended, just look to Orlando this weekend. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, but but. I mean, James Blackman was the call. But Saturday is going to be uh, Saturday is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, college football will be not uh, enough great match. We've had better matchups in the last few years. There aren't as many great ones this weekend. I haven't really perused. Yeah, yet, but you're I know not going to find much. Uh, like Oregon, Auburn, and that's it. By Florida fa- State, Boise State, and, and that's not that's here fun. That's do but not. I, th- I think they're at the same time. So, but, but ne- I don't really well, like that. listen. At the end of the day, FSU and Boise State neither are ranked. No, Alabama and Duke is a dog game. Oh well, yeah. Um. Houston, Oklahoma is this isn't three years you ago. You know what it is? It's it's throughout September though we have a lot of these yeah. kind of games. These kind are good games. Good games. Yeah, because these aren't good. This we got Texas, opening weekend's a little disappointing. Texas LSU, Clemson, Georgia Tech. Yeah. I mean, those are blow. These are these these are big spread games that that have you know they have some brand name to them. Some mm. of them, but mm. Georgia Tech may cover that one. That's a big spread, thirty six points. Well, we'll see if you put that in your five packs. Mm. That'll be exciting. A oh. uh, big news uh, in, in the NFL is. You know, is that Andrew Luck retired again? Again, as a Jaguar fan, it was a hell of a happy Saturday night for me. I mean, I I can't think of a better development for Jaguar fan than the quarterback of the Colts. Again, uh, thankfully, no tragedy involved here. No life, limb, loss, injury. Mm-hmm. Um, what what great news it was. Now it and and what's fun here is to sit now and rubberneck at the infighting that's going on. One within broadcasting and two within in Indiana, within the Colts fan base. People are split on, you know, on Andrew Luck and his decision mm-hmm. to do this, including, I guess you said, a nice little feud going on between one of ESPN's uh, analysts and the network itself with Dockage. Oh, Dan Dockage. Yeah, Dan Dockage, who works in Indiana, Indianapolis. And for ESPN. And for ESPN, uh, uh, the word they like to use is eviscerated. Uh, uh uh, but the, the 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 boys at ESPN feel like uh, Dan Dockich has been eviscerated after Dan Dockich eviscerated Andrew Luck. But the so bottom in other line words, is his his mentality. Dan is Dockich it- went more towards the you're quitting. The, you know what's uh, how, you know you're not the guy. You don't love the sport. You know well, how those- dare you? Those types of things. And 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 ESPN guys fired back. You're you know who are you? You quit West Virginia as a head coach eight days after you took the job because it was too much. So I mean. It's just one of those, and it's that, that's what I'm saying. This is going to be the talked-about topic all day long. Uh, uh, Troy Aikman and Doug Gottlieb got into it. They're both members of the Fox Sports family. Uh, Gottlieb said, most millennial thing to do, retiring. Uh, Aikman said, that's total BS, and called them out. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun today. To the Dockage end, who uh-huh. works in the Indianapolis media, mm-hmm. and we know this sometimes, Dan, and we tr- you, try, you actually try and guard against it if you're in our spot. 
sometimes you know or have been told something about a player or a story that while you don't publicly say it because either it's not confirmed or it's irrelevant, it can shade the way you feel about a person or a story. Well, Dan Dockett said, uh, uh, somebody said also, what so many of the national media don't seem to realize, the Colts and Luck have a long history of being disingenuous about his injuries and what always felt like an effort to mislead Colts fans until they were forced to come clean. And Dockett said, this is exactly why I've paid absolutely no attention to national media on Luck's retirement. They have no idea of the history in Indy. They have a narrative, and that's it. Well, what I was going to say is part of maybe that inside knowledge, especially if you work in Indiana, but there are, there, you know, there are people up there that feel like Andrew Luck suffered this latest injury non-football and oh. didn't disclose it. Mm-hmm. And it may have happened over the summer when he got married. And so, you know, if you're Dan Dockich and you think that that could be part of this, this story, it might shade, you know, the vehemence with which you uh, you make your opinion known. But uh, look, uh, what does this mean for, for the Jaguars, Dan? Do you, do you literally, I mean, I, 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 I literally give them a big bump. Instead of beating, having to beat three like from teams, a football standpoint, the Colts aren't winning the division. No, no way. No. They got the worst. They went from the best quarterback to the worst. Yes, from a football standpoint, uh, and the Colts, the Colts, arguably, of course, they'll get two a next year and be right back, <laughs> or Trevor and two. The Colts arguably had the best personnel in the division. And they might still outside the quarterback. Well, they would, yeah, outside the quarterback. However, they don't have a great running game either, so this is no. bad. For well, them. because they had a great quarterback, sure. their running game's okay, and they have a very good offensive line, very young, yeah, growing. Uh, and the, the defense is getting much better. The center from Bama, the guard from Notre Dame, two, both guys like young guys. Another guard from Auburn. They were they were building a, a something really nice. And this is a listen. Make no mistake, that Death is blow. a gut punch yeah. to the. Like I said, it's a nice celebration for me. I mean, if I'm a Jaguar fan, I encourage you to celebrate. Pop a cold one today yeah. for Andrew Luck deciding he doesn't want to play football anymore. It's terrific news for the Jaguars' chances. Not just this year, but the next five years, Hick. Yeah. Good luck. I don't care who you go get from college. Good luck finding an Andrew Luck. And, and one last thing, because there's a lot of sidebars here. It, any way at all, you, you, he's not going to be a Hall of Famer. There's no way. You can't walk away from the game with, with – you're walking away from the game with only five healthy years. You didn't. It didn't force you not to play. Has yeah. he done enough? He hasn't even been to a Super Bowl. I think. I, I think he is a Hall of Famer. You do you really? Yeah, I think he'll get in. Yeah. The Hall of wow. Famer. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, I think he'll get in. I know Tony. I talked to Tony this weekend, and I know he's more on the side of Andrew Luck and the battles that he's had to face physically, and he can do what he has to do. But that would be just a complete kick in the teeth to a guy like Vaselli, who they had to drag away from the game, who, who literally physically cannot do it anymore. Well, I mean, different. You and know, has a short career. Held again, I, I would go back to the my thought, and I want to talk about some other things. Yeah, but me too. I, my thought is that Andrew Luck. Obviously, just doesn't love it. I yeah. mean, you got to love the game. Yeah. It is a tough, tough, tough. And that doesn't, that's not a prerequisite for being and a Hall of Famer. And look, it's a lot like what uh, there's some, you know, Telvin. Telvin Smith stuff down here. I mean, we'll, you know, obviously there's some parallels that we'll get into a little bit later. Right. So uh, that, that's what's going on with, uh, with Andrew Luck in the National Football League. Um, I've been here for a lot of years. Yes. And not quite as many as you. Well, that's because you're significantly older and uh, closer to the ill. But, but better right. looking. I'm not sure we've had a wilder weekend, opening weekend of high school football where the two best teams not only lost, <laughs> but got pepper jacked. Yeah. I mean, Reigns and Trinity Christian yeah. got road graded hit. Yeah, observations. And yeah. are those not the two best teams in the city, or at least what we thought going in? May, that, that team may be Bartram. Lee's another great team. Got road graded. I mean, these are good teams that just got hammered. Yeah, I uh, Orlando Jones is a good team. Yes, they ten are. and two uh, a year ago, very good team, and I would just caution folks that Reigns has lost their opener the last two years to Lee. Not like this; it was forty to nine, um, so that was a little bit surprising. But Trinity Columbia, that may be one of the more surprising high school football scores I've seen Columbia, in a long time. I think Columbia is really good and bigger, and um, Trinity went down and scored on its initial drive. And uh, Columbia has, I think, three USF kids, including the quarterback, is really good. He's a little. Uh, a quick, but can toss it around a little bit, a quarterback, and obviously do a good job out there. So that was a nice win. Yeah, I would have expected it to be a lot closer. I think what you take away are those two blowout games. Yeah, for sure. Um, that was that was somewhat surprising. And I know Saturday was a big day as well with the uh, with the uh, radio side of the um, uh, 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 Publix Bold City Showdown. Publix Bold City Showdown. 
None of the yeah. games were. I guess the last game was kind of dramatic. That was a close game between Bulls and UC. UC beat them. But you got, you know, I think listen, for the first time. You got to see a lot of uh, good young quarterbacks for from sure. around these parts. Carson Beck, yeah. obviously, uh, from Mandarin. Uh, Ridge Jacobs, Atlantic Coast. Uh, Dodson from Bartram Trail. Um, uh, netting for bowls. So a lot of good, uh, good young high school quarterbacks on display in that. And uh, a fun day uh, in Jacksonville. Hot, hot day. Um, we were down in Orlando. So uh, another thing, Orlando, uh, we got to, you got to, you got to let us get out of there, man. I mean, we, 3 a.m. arrival back in Jacks. What? Tired. What do you mean you got to let them get you out of the, the traffic? Yeah, we got to get that traffic cleaned up. Yeah, that's uh, like but that yeah, forever. so I heard it was nightmarish. Yeah, it was not fun. Um, so anyway, uh, 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 yeah, the high school football was uh, was good stuff, good stuff for sure, and uh, and it's off and running. We're off and running with the high school, so uh, I think that's it. Anything else? Uh, well, we got uh, plenty more. We'll to get do. to as we move along. Rory won the FedEx. Yeah, we haven't touched on baseball at all. What's that of? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What baseball? Well, baseball, Major League Baseball from the weekend, the weekend that was. Some of the football's here. Some of the, some of the <laughs> excitement and man, that Friday night was weekend. a gut punch, man. Oh, God. Yeah. 14 innings. I mean, we got I, I, a lot of runner chances. third with one yeah. out. I'm like, ah, just mm. ugh, that one. And then we took the lead Saturday. Polar well, we bear. Got it right back. Yeah. Got it right back. I had like the worst 10 minutes of my life Saturday night. Miami took the lead. The Braves blew the game. I'm sitting at home going, this just sucks. Ugh. But uh, well, we can't. We, we, we. Uh, sometimes uh, luckily, you, you didn't lose any ground because, you know, some, chubby cubby in there can't win a freaking game. Oh, no. Sometimes teams Annoying. are just better. So, and right now, Braves are better. So, we got to figure that out. All right. We'll cross um, that bridge when we get to it. We got a lot more to get to here on a Monday morning, including Call your chance number to, two, Beef. Oh, way Call in. number two, 641 Go see the Jags and party in the, in the, in the, at the tailgate. Sure. Yeah. Party Tell City. them what it is, Beef. The Public's Ultimate Tailgate there Party presented go. by Party Shack.